Welcome to episode 104 of Anime and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Sean. And this is the review show that reviews anime from A to Z. Sort of. Alright guys, uh, last episode we spun for category L, and we got La Storia della Arcana Fami- Famiglia. I think I... Yeah, I mean, that's right. Murder that. I like it's It's funny that we don't know the alphabet. We really don't. <laughs> we always struggle with what, other, what letter we're on, what we're comparing it to do. <laughs> Never get the alphabet right. Anyway, the name is ridiculous. It's, it's outrageously stupid. Yeah, it's... I think it's Italian, though. I think we ended... It is. It, you know what's really funny? And we're going to get into the, the ridiculousness of the choice of setting and all that in a bit. But... Uh, it's very Italian, and when I was watching it on my phone and casting it to the TV, my phone kept wanting to translate, like, from Italian to English. It kept popping up. Even when it's just playing the video, it's like, translate Italian and English? I'm like, yes, I'm fine, leave it be. <laughs> well, we're like, it's obvious it's Italian now, but when we first read yeah, it... Yeah, we, we weren't quite sure it was weird. It could have been Spanish. We, You thought it was Spanish, I thought it was... Hola. I thought it was French. Yeah. So, I mean... All right, so uh, it's a Japanese visual novel, novel series by Who Next? No idea who that is, and Comfort probably Studios. I don't know. The first game, which was the first iteration of it, released October twenty seventh, two thousand eleven. Then the manga came out in December of the same year. The anime came out the next year, sometime in two thousand twelve. No idea who made it. It was a lot of, people. and I'm good. Apparently, there's a spinoff cooking game. Yeah, I, I, yeah. There's a couple games. The anime. It's weird. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who would enjoy it so much to be purchasing these, this many forms of media for it. That's I wouldn't. True. I mean, we're going to disagree on this, but I think this is the worst anime I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, I guess it depends on the way you're you're judging it. There's, there's like it, it, it's objectively bad. Don't watch it. Everything about it's bad in one way or another. No matter like art's not that great. It's okay, I guess. It's, Voice acting's bad. I mean, it's... Dialogue's bad. It's a bad anime, no doubt about it. But when it was all said and done, when it was over, we ended up in the same oh, place. Oh, I was going to say that. that. That was something that kind of infuriated me. So episode one and episode 12 is essentially the same episode where it, no, no, nothing had moved forward in the story at all. No. And we ended up in the same spot we were at the beginning of the first mm-hmm. episode. This anime is completely pointless. They, they wasted our time for 12 episodes because there is no progression at all. It was a f***ing waste of time. It was. It is the worst anime I've ever seen. And I'm I'm saying that even worse than Restaurant from Another World, <laughs> 801 TTA or S Rats, Koi Kaze. I don't know about that. I freaking Unbreakable Machine Dot. It's the worst anime. It was a waste of my life. It was. It was very pointless. Sorry for the yawning. And... So you st- we start off, there's this family of people. Really, f- It's a mafia. It's a mafia. But they're the good mafia that's there to protect people. And that's all you ever see them do, really. This is a romanticized a version of a mafia that people, like, so, someone who wants to, like, defend a mafia would tell. Yes. Yeah. But the only thing is, you literally don't see them making money or doing anything illegal or any, 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 even if it was illegal, there's nothing happening. It's just them defending people. Right, but you would know it. It has to be because they're isolated on this island. They pretty much have all these people all hostage here. <laughs> maybe you know they. Maybe it was off screen and they didn't show it to us. But maybe they're getting a small tax from everybody. Well, they Who have. A, they're running the casino. Oh right, right. Oh, they are. So that's where they're making money. I'm sorry. I, I remember seeing the one guy with the eye patch dealing. Yeah. But I did, I thought maybe that was just his job. I didn't know if that was like everyone. Mm, everyone owned, but I guess it was. That was like his. Each one of the guys has a specific job, mm. and that's his. And there's 12 of these guys, and plus the head of the family. Uh, I'm not calling them what they're calling them. You can Papa. Yeah. Papa, mama. So, is it, so they use a couple Italian words translated into English over and over and over and over again. Now, obviously, Papa and Mama isn't just a Italian thing. Right. Spanish. People use it. Yeah. Even American English people use it. But the way they're doing it with the accent they're doing, it's it's just f***ing god-awful to hear it. It's, it's grating on the ears to hear it over and over and over again. Yes. And it, you said it's a visual novel. It is a reverse harem. Oh, yeah, sure. Because there's one girl that's a focus. Uh, well... Well, uh, premise, right? Yeah, go with the premise. <laughs> and so there's this mafia family, and they're all, they all wear suits for some f***ing reason. And the head of the family, Papa... Uh, says in the first episode that uh, he wants to retire essentially, and there's going to be a Dubello, du- Dulello, 
essentially a, a tournament, tournament where they all fight to win, and the winner gets a chance to fight him. If they beat him, they become the new papa. They get a wish of that's of whatever he can grant. They they get it, and they get to marry his daughter, uh, Felicitia. Yeah, which is strange. Felicity, Felicity, Felicity. Which is strange because she's in it. First of all, yeah, she enters in it herself, and and I called it episode one. I called what was going to happen. I don't know if I said it to you, but I called it in my head. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so she's in it and she's fighting. Um, but not only is she going to marry herself, not, who knows? Not only is she in it, but the mom, mama's in it, too. Yeah, I thought, I didn't think that was going to be her mom. I thought that was going to be, like, just some lady. Yeah, no, that's her mom. It's weird. It is, because she it's doesn't look anything super like weird. her. And it's like, they never have a mother-daughter moment, really. No. Yeah, it's super weird. Yeah. It's poorly done all around. Well, they don't have a... A mother, fa- uh, a daughter, father moment either. They're Not just, really. They no. just tell you that these are their parents, and then the parents kind of disappear. I mean, the mother is more of a mother to the other characters. Yes, one of them happens to be her nephew, and that's a whole other story. But so, uh, so about them not being good parents, and they're they're terrible at it. They, they there's no dialogue or connection to her their daughter at all. But at, towards the end of the show, Papa's like, "I have the best family. I have the best daughter," and he's like so excited that he has this family and everything. It's like you're a piece of shit, bud. Like, what are you talking about? What's even worse though is in the, in the premise, you said we're going to do this tournament, and then for eleven episodes, they don't have this f-ing tournament. Oh they my god, sp- I know. They spin their wheels for eleven. F- episodes and nothing f-ing happens. <laughs> I, and- I honestly thought on the eleventh episode before I clicked on the twelfth episode that maybe they were planning a second season and they were just gonna have the tournament. Yeah, me end. too. No, they had the entire tournament in like fifteen twenty minutes less. Right, and, uh, f- you. <laughs> it's such bullshit. I, if you put tournaments, in, sh- people love tournaments. Oh, you just terrible. if you're gonna base your show around a tournament, you don't spend eleven episodes doing other things. No, you waste those eleven episodes doing the. They did nothing in those 11 episodes. I know. The second episode was about a cat. <laughs> Just following this cat. It was so bad. Oh, man. And, and during the tournament, there was only one and a half good fights. The uh, the blonde kid and the samurai sword kid. Whatever. It was a shitty fight, but it was the best fight that they showed. And then half the fight between Felicity and her papa was okay, I guess. Well. Everything else was just bang, bang, over, gave, bang, bang, over. They gave it, like, three seconds. Yeah, yeah. For anything, and the worst part is, all of it was predictable. Oh, everything was predictable. Everything, every... Every. The, and... I predicted what was going to happen at the end in the very beginning. And then it wasn't even, like, a standard tournament or anything. Like, the girl fought, like, three fights in a row. Mm-hmm. And everyone else got one or two fights. Yeah, it's like they just th- decided to throw people in. And there's, so, like, there's 12 main people in this, this mafia family, but there's at least 100 of them. Right. You see no-name characters left and right all the time. Right, and the no-name characters are really no-name characters. It's not like, <laughs> it's they're literally there for that, to get beat up and then That's go. That's it. There's not, they're not in, like, the backgrounds or anything. You clearly know who's the main character in this. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's a common thing in anime. It's kind of a meme, like, you, the main character has really done up hair, and, you know, the art style for him is really cool, and everyone else is just kind of shadows. I mean, they, they did focus on, I'll give them that they gave you three main characters, and not just, you know, two yeah. two with a love, love interest in it. It was... It's a, a reverse love triangle. Too. Yeah, it's a reverse love triangle, but not really. Yeah, because, like, the blonde likes her, the blue-haired guy, he's blue-haired, right? Yeah, he, like, he kind of likes he, he her. He kind of likes her, too. And she likes them both. And she can't decide. Uh, and That's a fucking crucial thing for, like, two episodes. Oh, get into the stupid cards and the magic. Oh, no. So, each one of the family members... Well, not each one, but... I well, Is it because, like, they, they said later on the only reason why some of them were able to join was because they were able to control their arcana powers. Yeah, so, all, is that all of them? All, all the ma- people with names have cards. <laughs> But the rest of them don't. Don't do, don't they? Do, is no. that confirmed? Yeah, because they said they because they whole ending of the story was that they have to give every get everyone to yeah because Papa has all of them inside. Yeah, of Yeah, he needs to bind people to the cards. Mm. But if they all one hundred mafiosos have a card, all those cards will be done. So yeah, no, it's just so um, we don't know until much later on. But one of them, Jolie, although it's written as Jolly. His name's Jolie. I don't know who uh, that is. He's the one with the shades. The, oh, well, Hiei. Hiei. Yeah, he's the uh, Hiei from uh, Yu Hakusho. He's the voice actor for him. And it sounds strikingly similar. Like, sometimes 
you know, they're, they're such good voice actors that you, you can't tell. You can tell. That's the other thing about this show. There is no antagonist. Yo, yeah. Right? No. It's yeah. just them fighting each other for the most part. But, he, like, they try to portray this Jolie character as antagonist. As a bad guy. Yeah, as a bad guy. Yeah. And he's not. He's not. There is no bad guy in the show. He's just doing his job. There is... Anyway, so Jolie is essentially a... Scientist. The scientist. He does alchemy. Whatever. And I don't know how he... Did he create the Arcana powers? I know he fuses them to people, and he figured out how to do that. But no. I don't even know how the Arcana powers came about. In the flashback, the dad... They were getting um, invaded... The island was getting evaded, and they were losing, but the dad had the cards, so he made a deal with the cards, and uh, oh, the um, world card, and the cards talked to him, and... That's f***ing stupid. Yeah, it's, it's all stupid. So, uh, Jolie experimented on two or three of the guys, I forget. One of them has an eye patch. He's one of the guys he experimented on. Uh, and he eventually figured out how to start binding the cards to people. But only three of them could succeeded in doing it. That survived his test yes. until he figured it out. Then he can do it to anyone. Yeah, I mean, there's some dark themes in the show, but there is no tension. Yeah, and, uh, each one has a different card, each card has a different power, and furthermore, some of these powers are f***ing stupid, like the blonde-haired kid, uh, his, when you first u- he uses his power, he like uh, splinters this giant mm-hmm. uh, mass for yeah. a ship, and then later on, he uses it like a force power to suck his sword back into his hand that's over yonder and he does it he does a third different thing i forget what it was though but like what's his power apparently does three different things whereas everyone else's power does one thing well no his powers is what are how they explain i think it was they explained it like probability but what it is is when he says something it happens oh okay yeah i didn't catch that yeah so like he's when he says he told the mass to shatter come here yeah sword came okay okay well, the one guy, the blue-haired one that's competing for her love, <laughs> it makes people fall asleep, right? Yeah. What Does he do anything else with that? Oh, no. I, I, could, I don't remember him doing anything else with it until the final fight, and he uses it, and he, like, powers up with it and swings his sword, and now he's got a strong no, they, sword. they copped out with his power, because he's supposed to be the death card. Instead of killing people with his power, he, he puts them to sleep. sleep. It's a... It's like there's dark themes in the show, but there, it shows too much of a coward to go Half any measures. Yeah, it's all bullshit. It is terrible. This is a, the worst anime I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, up until episode eleven, it's a bunch of short episodes that don't really have anything to do with each other. There might be one episode where there's or two episodes where it's one story for it, but for the most part, it's episodic. Yeah, this anime is making just talking about it's making me mad. Honestly, mm. what happened with the Elmo character that was? Uh, the he disappeared. Homunculus. He disappeared. <laughs> so Jolie made a homunculus, and he's like sitting in a tube of Jello or whatever. Yeah, and he just they he they he starts letting them out, letting them play after hiding them and stuff like that. And in one episode, he they he's explaining it to all the people, and then he serves no point. He's there's no story arc. He is absolutely superfluous, and there's no point for any of this. Yeah, it all sucks. Like that. That's it's like they wanted to start writing a storyline for that, and then ninety percent of the way through, ah, uh, we're done. I think they had a shitty visual novel game, and like, all right, we gotta make a manga out of this, and then they just threw something together. That's what it feels like. Yeah, and I guess there is just enough popularity to make an anime and a second game. I don't, I don't understand who would want to watch this. The same people who watch Koi Kaze. I guess, although <laughs> very different animes, but I guess you know, there's a target audience for this kind of crap. Yeah, it's... Honestly, it, this is probably... It's worse than background noise. This is probably targeted towards um, young girls, because... Well, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a reverse harem, but still, like, there's better reverse harems. We've we reviewed better reverse harems. This is just a bad one, objectively, in, in yeah. every aspect. I guess Karamari Princess was a reverse harem. Yeah. And, unfortunately, that was better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is there anything else you want to add? I mean, no, I'm just, it's not... I just don't... It's just bad. I don't want to give it any more spotlight than I have to, honestly. I don't want to go into it, honestly. I just, I really didn't like it. I hated it so much. So what else was for L? Land of the Illustrious. Oh, that's probably number one. Yeah, Levius. Yeah, I don't like that. And I don't f***ing remember the third one. <laughs> Get the book, L. Oh, God. It's a good thing I bring it every week now. I guess all this science is going to be cut out. Yep. Let's see. Yes. Gotta be the first L two because you can see it. I think it's an illustrious man. Okay, okay. Oh, Little Busters. Oh, right, right, right. So for me, Little Illustrious. I didn't watch Little Busters, but I liked it. Levius, Little Busters, than those. 
Yeah, I actually switched Little Busters with Levius. Yeah. Yeah, I like Little Busters. Well, I didn't like the first season, but that second season that I watched was really good. The, was the erotic one? What was it called? No, that was the third season. <laughs> That's a terrible name. The, se- the second season where it was like a... Oh, we didn't give a score. Three, oh, one. One? Ah, uh, three at best. No, that's a one. Maybe a two. One for me. It's just bad all around. I told you, this is the worst anime. At least it was 12 episodes. Nope, worst anime I've ever seen. <laughs> Koikaze was 12 episodes. No, it was not better. But Koikaze was 12 episodes. It wasn't better, though. Uh, yes, it was. It was better written and it had the story. And it, nope. even though it was infuriated and it didn't waste my f- time. At least I got rage out of that one. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we're spinning for category M. Let's see what we get. There's a bunch of M. There's too many in M. There's a load of Gundams, too. I can't even see. Yeah, it's really small. Munto, I think we might be getting. Munto. Or Munto. M-U-N-T-O. That's a weird, yeah. weird name. I don't even remember. I mean, I clicked on them all before I came. All of them? Well. Over the course. <laughs> oh, there's a second season to it, too. Oh, that looks great. Oh, it's only uh, one Fantasy act- Magic Romance. It's an OVA single OVA s- English dub. You know what? There's a second season to it. Normally, I don't like doing straight OVAs right. for a review, but since there's a second season to it, we know there's more to it, so that's not a big deal. Maybe this is a movie, so we're going to get more yeah. than 20 minutes. Well, let's click on it and see if it's a movie. 53 minutes, so yeah. Yeah, I that's mean, not bad. Uh, this is like a break and other break, essentially. Yes, which I'm going to be kind of happy with. Let's go get back. back. Yeah, and read the tag. So, uh, fantasy romance. Fa- I'm sorry. Fantasy romance magic is the genre. Uh, the art looks a little older, but maybe late 90s, probably early 2000s. Plot summary. Akuto, the main source of energy is running low in the heavens. And that's weird. Why is there a comment? Oh, world of islands hidden beyond time, floating above ours. There's a lot of weird comments. Well, sense and structure is weird. I think it's... The name of the islands is Heavens. Oh, the Heavens. Okay. Has united against the magical kingdom who uses the most energy to save both the magical kingdom and the heavens and restore the flow of Akuto, the magical kingdom Munto, must follow a vision and find the girl Yumemi? You Yumemi? Yeah, I guess. In the lower world. Yumemi herself is just a normal girl, except that she's the only one who can see the islands of the heavens floating above. When Munto appears before her, she starts thinking about hers and others' responsibility to the world. I guess Munto's this black-haired kid or the red-haired, probably the red-haired kid. I don't know, but know what this feels like? The lower world of Plunderer. What's happening underneath? Yeah, yeah. or Skyward Sword. No, what <laughs> I was I, thinking of that for some reason. Well, no, what I mean is this is this is what's happening down below. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, next episode, Munto. Sure. Better than the last one. Oh, yeah. See ya. Bye.